New pod. You don't land on your seat here. No, it's a fucking mess right now. <laughs> Dude! What? Y'all might be y'all dead look, even. Y'all look about the same from down here. Y'all, uh, there's a bunch of close-ups. Why are you grabbing my hand, bro? bro? All right, baby, what's up? Hi. How you doing? I'm okay. Can Tired. I, straight off the bat, can I tell you something? Okay. I'm proud of you for going to the gym the last couple of days. Thank you. Like, actually. For real? Yeah, the... I knew that, like, once I started going, like, kind of getting on to go, you were like, oh, yeah, I don't know. And then we'd... I'd talk to you at lunch. I'd be like, what? What are you doing? And ever since then, you know, your plates have been greener. And you posted it on your story. I have, yes. And oh. Noah was like, look at what Dakota's eating. I'm like, I know. Been trying to eat better, trying to lose weight. I couldn't be more proud of you. Appreciate it. Uh, So you got this big announcement. What's up? No? You don't? Okay. Uh, Give, it, give us the backstory for it. Build it up. Really give it its due. Okay. Crap. So... Ooh, okay, so I came here to come to school, set up my life, all this stuff. I wanted to, you know, coach and all this stuff. Was and that your major? Uh, yeah, coaching. Um, sort of. It's more of like business management of sports, uh-huh. but uh, but so sometimes life kind of gets in the way. Life does its thing. Uh, so I had basically my unit call me, um, because I'm in the army for nobody that knows, mm-hmm. but, uh, and they told me that I'm getting deployed at the end of the year. Oh shit. For like almost a year. Where to? Where to? I don't know if I can uh, yeah, that say might that. Be be, it might be Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I could say where, yeah. where I'm going, but. It's for, I don't even know if I can say how, how exactly how long, but it's for nearly a year. How do you feel about that? Nervous, I will say it's overseas. Okay. Yeah, so a little nervous. A little far away from home. And, uh. Was well, it what you want to do? Or are you just doing it? I don't necessarily want to get deployed, but I got, I got to, um. I mean, that's what I signed up to do. Well, yeah. Well, I, I mean, if you got stuff going... So, if they call... They can call you at any moment and be like, come back? Okay, so what I was supposed to be doing already was... Supposed, I was supposed to be going every month for one weekend. Just to do my regular military duty stuff. Um, two to four days. Uh, Carson, damn it. <laughs> come over here if you're going to make noise. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Um... It'd be like two to four days um, out of like a month. It was some kind of weekend or whatever. Normally the long ones are we're going to the range and shooting and qualifying, uh, qualifying to be able to shoot a certain weapon. Um, the two days we're normally just at the unit doing a little little stuff. Have you been doing that? No. Oh. <laughs> that's 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 the that was the problem. <laughs> okay. And so that was that was the main reason they called me and then, and then they were because they like, just haven't seen you. They're like, what the f- yeah, where are like, you? Yeah, and then they're like, there's this all this stuff that was behind it that I'm not gonna get into right now. But, um. Yeah, and then they were like, you do know we're getting, well, what they said, mobilized. Hmm. They didn't say deployment, but mobilized to somewhere, um, for like ten months. So how did you even get into the military? Like, what was your so I, I I wanted to okay. So I started working when I first got out of high school. Um, my sister, because uh, I was living with my sister at the time, uh, was like, "Hey, I need you to work or do something." I'm like, "Okay." Um, out of high school, and I was like, "Okay." So once I graduated, I went to uh, work. Um, worked for a couple months, and then what started, job? I was just a grocery store worker. I was being a cashier, scanning alcohol, stuff like that. I used to deliver like Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's? Yeah. The, like the sandwiches? Yeah. I used to drive 45 minutes to deliver Jimmy John's to people's houses. I didn't know that, that they delivered yep. sandwiches. Down there in Fort Worth. Well, my, everybody's got those jobs. You know, it's like a, Yeah, that little yeah. job. The little, little in-between job. thing, just yeah. so you're not a bum. Yeah. Yeah. Um... And then my sister was just like, 
I feel like you're not doing enough, blah, blah, blah. You either, and my friend just went to the army um, that was living with us. I, I, I got him to, I like convinced my sister to let him stay with us. Um, was she right though? Ready. Were you doing stuff or were you not doing? I stuff? was I was working, um, but at the same time I was just like spending money on like nonsense. Yeah. Um, just you know, buying steaks just to, for my friends and I to eat steak, mm-hmm. and um, you know, going places and buying. Just stuff. willy nilly, yeah. just like I was just I was just yeah. going coasting really. Yeah, um, blowing and going. Yeah, and then so my sister was like, yeah, so now you either have a decision right now. Um, I don't have one that's in there. You either join the military, um, because I did, at, before I did that, I did my uh, ASVAB. Uh-huh. Um, I ended up getting like a decent, pretty decent score, a pretty, uh, pretty high score actually, um, in like a specific category, which is, allowed me to get a lot of jobs. Um Oh, so you can put that on your resume. ASVAB, what is that? That's like the... It's like the military, like, test. Um, what does that stand for? I don't remember. Come on, military man. I don't, I don't remember <laughs> what it stands for. As, ASVAB or as... ASVAB, I think. A-S... A-S-V-A-B? Yeah. ASVAB test. Um... Um, Armed Service Vocational Aptitude Battery. No, I don't think that's it. It's oh. literally armed. I'm going to throw it up. Armed. What is this? Minute what? I don't know. That's bad. Armed Services. Armed. Sir, okay. The Armed oh, Services is. Vocational Aptitude Battery. ASVAB is a heavily researched and well-respected aptitude test developed by the Department of Defense. No, this this is, the, this is it right here. The ASVAB is a times, uh, time multitude test, which is given, blah blah blah. Uh, it's it, so it's a te- it's like it's a it's a it's a standard test that you do on like a, basically a piece of paper, but I did it on on like a computer. Okay. So, um, it's just ask you for like different things: math, English, science. Um, mm. There might have been like construction questions, uh, motorized questions. There was just like gen- and then like general knowledge stuff, and it was all it all compiles into like five or six categories, and then it gives you like a mm-hmm. score, um, <laughs> and uh, so yeah. Anyway, I got a high ASVAB score. My sister was just gave me like a dilemma whether to join. The- I didn't even get it in my fucking shirt. <laughs> that sucks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Do this is all over the place. <laughs> um, um, to uh. To either go to college or, um, or join the military, and at the time I didn't want to like spend money going to college for something I don't know what I want to do, um, and so I was like, well, I guess I have to join the military. And I, I honestly, at first I was like, I don't want to join. Like I, I told the recruiter that, I told my sister that, I said I'll figure it out. But the guy just kept trying to convince me, like, oh, I think this is really good for you, blah blah blah, and my sister was like trying to convince me my dad was trying to convince me and I ended up just joining um and then so it's yeah, not what uh, you wanted to do not originally no I I kind of wanted originally I wanted to go into like the IT field which technically is now what I'm in anyway be through the military mm-hmm. um well there you go but I I kind of wanted to do it in a different way yeah. um for other stuff but now I'm kind of more in the cybersecurity. Oh shoot! Um, kind of. So you stuff. got a VPN on your phone? No. I don't oh know. my no, god! No. Well, I do. I think I might have an app, but I don't use it. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Uh. So, originally I didn't want to. Obviously, now I ended up joining college anyway. So I probably should have just went to college anyway because I'm not using. I don't have any benefits that. The military is really helping me with. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, Cause that's the number one thing you kind of hear. It's like, go to the military and you'll be set for life. Um, active duty, it will help you. Uh, you'll have like this. Uh, you'll have what we have. I have a like a partial GI bill, so I'll pay like four hundred dollars a month. Mm. Not that much. 
but uh, for the full GI Bill, it helps pay way, way more. Um, mm. But you have to be active duty and all this stuff to get that. And there's some other benefits between like active duty and the reserves. Um, you kind of get what you do. Yeah. Um, and I was given also like other like benefits. Like I was given a repayment plan, it was like fifty thousand or something uh-huh. uh, for like student loans or whatever. But the problem was that you already had to have the student loans already taken out by the time you join. So I can't use that. Unless I re-enlist. A little and, uh, glitch in the, or a little yeah, I was, code. Yeah, I was pretty upset when I, I was like, oh, yeah, this is cool. And they probably and I, could have told you, but they didn't. They didn't. And I was like, I was really upset when I, like, looked into it, and I was like, oh, I can't even use this. I was thinking I could for so long, and then I can't. So what's your opinion, like, on recruiters before and after you go into the military? It just feels like they kind of sell you a product that don't. It's just, it feels pushy, kind of. I mean, there's definitely a lot of good things the military comes with, like, as far as benefits and uh, job opportunities and um, life experiences and cool stuff that you just wouldn't do in your regular life. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm conflicted because it's like, obviously, we need those men and women, and I'm thankful for those people, but it's like, that ain't me. Like, I just... I, I, I don't I want to go through boot camp just to see if I can do it it's it's honestly it's honestly not that it's not as bad as it seems cause everything has been done and like tweaked to be like safe mm-hmm. and um they're gonna push you and you just gotta deal with it um I got a trash can thrown at me uh just standing there what kind of like the moved. little plastic ones or like a big metal like one a, the not big metal like the big like big uh like gray ones okay kind of like what oh the have. rubber ones no like the plastic like the ones that we have in um in like the union I mean, those big, oh that roll those around big gray yeah those the big, big circle ones. ones yeah i got one of those damn towards me um just <laughs> because i moved my eyes and uh yeah that's wicked dude yeah. it's crazy you've been through all that and like, why here? Like, why here? Uh, this school. Yeah. Um. So wait, 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 wait! You never told me about recruiters. Oh, so with the recruiters, I, like I said, I do think there's a lot of cool stuff and good stuff that comes with the military and like joining it and such. Um, but I do also feel like they don't necessarily tell you the whole, like, story. Yeah. As far as like how you get these benefits, what you do with these benefits mm. and stuff, and overall, like. They do have, like, these, like, crash courses to, like, tell you on how, uh, who to ask or what to do um, to, like, get, do these benefits or what paper to work out, uh, to fill out. But there's so much paperwork you have to fill out in the military. Uh-huh. Um, that's, like, nine, like, a large, just a large uh, percentage oh, of imagine. things yeah. you do in the military. Like, they have websites just to compile, like, all your paperwork. Um, and it's, like so so much um that you have to go through just to be able to get certain benefits and mm-hmm. stuff and another thing is just like you know once you get out um having to deal with like trying to get your like VA or like your other benefits uh-huh. it's like it's like oh did you get injured in service or did you not or like, so it's like a battle trying to get the stuff you deserve yeah Quick question does your if you have kids will they get benefits because you've been enlisted yeah it's the same thing ha- well so my family's been like for like Couple not con- consecutive but like for the last 125 years uh like the last like seven generations uh we've been in the military um and so, like, we've all kind of had, like, military benefits. And that's how I'm paying with some of my school. Although, I need to do what I'm doing right now a little differently because I'm spending money that I kind of need um, to try to pay for tuition. Um, Dakota, Dakota, Dakota. Yeah, but a I am, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was due on the 15th. No, it was due 27th. They changed it? Yeah, it's always due to, it's been due to the 27th. Well, the deadline said the 15th. I'm going to be pulling, I need to pull out those student loans for like this semester. I, uh, I need to pay off my, I still have to pay off my last semester stuff. I have like 1500 still left. Um, Shit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Oh, so um, I, my, I have some benefits that my dad, uh, my dad has that I'm able to receive that helps me pay for school. And then you're, a lot of your kids as well if you yeah. have any. 
So, but that's He'll have some. what he has is just because he's a hundred percent disabled. Um, probably with the injuries I've gotten, I'll probably be around seventy percent, just because of my bunch of my lower body injuries. What, like the stuff you were talking to me about, or different stuff? Yeah. So, oh, okay. like I've had probably six, seven lower body injuries. I've had two ankle. Um, my my uh, femur. my femur. Oh. My I had a hip strain. I had I think I hurt this other ankle. Um, and you were squatting you fucking last night. And something else. Yeah. You didn't even tell me this. Yeah, I mean I I need to be able to like do work. You broke your femur. I didn't necessarily break it. I I had a stress fracture. What'd you break? My femur, but it was a lot more than a stress fracture. Yeah, yeah, he he. I think you broke it. My shit, you? my shit was fucked. <laughs> oh god. My, I just got ended up having like a stress fracture on the side, the side of my. Mine is just like fracture. a little like, hairpin, like size, like little break in it like, through here. Mine was like it broke like. A <laughs> yeah. yeah. Spot, spot <laughs> and, <clears throat> oh, um, it just, it's just sore. I, that's that's, now like I can put weight on it. So how did that? How did you get like, the stress fracture? What happened? Uh, so originally, okay, so the whole, the whole story is that my original injury with my ankle, I, I was running up this ramp, we were doing like a, um, a, uh, part of it, like a, uh, what are those things called? When you're like running through a ladders? Conditioning exercise? Not necessarily conditioning. No, it's like, it's like, a a course. There we go. We're going through like an obstacle course. Um called the confidence course and we're supposed to run up this <laughs> ramp and jump over you broke your fucking leg yeah, yeah so i i ran i already did it once like i ran up this ramp got in this metal bar flipped over it once well then oh. i did it early so before everybody got over there because i was getting through some of this stuff a little quicker um because i was in the front um and then everybody came over there they was just like hey just do it again blah blah, blah. i'm like okay and then i was even joking my friend like watch me like fall or whatever do something stupid mm-hmm. and so i got up there ran off the ramp and i guess i jumped too early missed the bar and then i like i rolled my ankle and I, like fell on it and the problem was is that like under this bar like they dug out so it's like it's like a little hole uh-huh. so it like i landed right in this hole and twisted my ankle and fell right on it um it, my whole foot ended up being like black and blue um, i just and i just ended up continuing going through basic training you didn't tell um, nobody? I mean, I told people, but I was just like, oh, it just hurts, blah, blah, blah. And, like, the first time I went for it, I went to the next day or, like, the second day. Um, the bruising wasn't that bad. Um, I was just like, oh, it hurts, blah, blah, blah. She's like, oh, you might have, like, tore, like, one tendon right here in your foot. But, like, it's not, like, a major, like, you're not, it's nothing, like, to worry about. Mm-hmm. It's either going to heal or it's, like, it's going to be fine. <laughs> and I'm like, cool. Oh so they put, they put a they put a wrap on, or, like, not a wrap, uh, uh. Not a cast, a uh, brace. A brace. There we go. A brace on it. Um, and I, I, and they let me wear soft shoes, like like regular tennis shoes, um, instead of boots when we were like, uh, rucking with like like our 60, 70 pound bags, um, and then like I was just doing that, and I was doing everything, running and all that stuff on it, um, but I was still kind of like limping a little bit and all this stuff, trying to do all that, and I ended up putting so much pressure on this leg, plus. The fact that the the way that I ended up like losing weight before I uh, went there, like I was taking like laxatives and water pills. I wasn't eating. I wasn't drinking for like two, almost three weeks. Like I didn't eat or drink anything for like. So you were just depleted. And I was just, I was like, I was super malnourished. I believe running around trying to do basic training, dead. Yeah, Uh, I like I lost (laughs) twenty. I lost like I think it was like nearly thirty pounds. It was like twenty five, thirty pounds in two weeks. Um, just so I can make it into the military. And then I went to basic training. I, I finally got to eat a little bit, drink a little bit, but like my body was still pretty malnourished. And I think it resorted to me getting hurt at certain points, but that's a pretty logical conclusion. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I ended up getting a lot of injuries. So that's why I think I'm getting around like around that 7% because a lot lower bo- body injuries are already like 50 and I've had so many. Are you a procrastinator? Yes. 
Okay. Because <coughs> I am as well. And, like, hearing you say that, in my head, you waited to the last minute and didn't do the right thing. And to lose you, weight? Yeah. They only gave me, like, a month and a half to lose that weight. Well, then I'll take back and what it was, I said. it was, like, 35 pounds or 40. Um, probably. Uh, I'm only, I'm supposed to be like the highest I'm supposed to be is like 190 for my height. And you're five ten. Yeah. Well, they say I'm five nine, but I mean everywhere else five <sighs> ten, and which is funny. Like even a player that goes like plays here, we're like the, literally the exact same height, and he's five ten. But the army's just like five nine, and uh. How tall are you? Six five. But when I first joined. I was able to get that 510. Um and it was like now they have me at 59 which is like a big drop off. Now I have to go to like down to like 174. Connor, how tall are you? What's up? How tall are you? 510, 511. All right. <laughs> yeah, he's like y'all stand up. Next to each other. Make sure you guys suck in your guys. This is a first. Well, you have to do it. There we go. Oh, wait. Yeah, my shoes. I have shoes on. Okay, take, take those bad boys off. This guy. Okay, go. Over here. I've never moved the, the camera during a pod. No, it's pretty cool. New pod. You don't land on what you see here. No, it's a fucking mess right now. Dude! What? Y'all might be y'all dead look, even. Y'all look about the same from down here. Yeah, there's a bunch of close-ups in there. Why are you grabbing my hand, what are you bro? Talking about? All right, all right, all right. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, he's about that. So if he's 5'10", 5'11", and I'm the same height, then that's him. That's 5'10", 5'11", yeah. So yeah, you're 5'10", or 5'11". So, and then the, the player's 5'10"-ish. So, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, so, but they try to say I'm 5'9". I just don't think they know how to measure the machine Probably very not. well. Um... I'm very well could be 5'9". I have no clue. They're not probably ready to give a shit. No, they're probably like, next, next, next. Also, Did they shave your head? I also know. Oh, yeah. You want to see a picture? Oh, I remember ours. I'll throw up a right. picture. I That's why I don't know. know. Here, I'll show you real quick. I'm on a team with some girls that say that they're 5'8", and they'll hit me, like, right here. Mm. So that's like, well, then I'm six foot. Are, are girls self-conscious about their height? Some. I mean, some that are taller. Some that are taller, yeah, definitely. <sighs> Show the camera that right now. That's that's insane. That's insane. You're an albino milk dud. An albino milk dud. Yeah. Uh, just a white milk dud. Uh, he, died. he just died over there. White chocolate milk dud. White chocolate milk dud. Yeah, that I I I jokingly like showed some of the basketball players that, and they started dying. They're like, yeah, they no, to, let's they not do that. To start dying. You had to air drop. You have to air drop to me also. Right, I will. What but is, yeah, that'll be the thumbnail. What is the face you're making? That you're like. He's just. He was looking cute for sorry. Giga chat. I was just trying to take a picture real quick, so I could send it to like my. I'm trying to or take a pic. In the Marines, every time he sent me a picture, there's always a desk sitting under a light, and it's, he's so fucking bald that that light was just. Yeah, I was reflecting off his head. So funny. That's crazy. Head looks like a damn flashlight. I might shave my head now. You just inspired me. To shave your head. That what? inspired you to shave your head. Well, not really. I've kind of been chewing on this for a little bit. Shaving my head. Oh. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about shaving my head again, too, or just cutting a lot of it off because my I feel like my hair is kind of dead on top at this point. And I need it's kind it to, of what? Dead. Dead. Like, it's kind of, like, all dry and stuff, and I well, feel like I condi- need to get a new set of hair. Do you, condi- do you condition? Yeah. I condition basically, yeah, like, every day. Dead. I only shampoo, like... Like every like two days, and then I buy condition every day. You shouldn't do that. No. No, you should also only condition the ends of your hair. How the hell? Do- yeah. yeah. Your hair's a little short, you it's called a routine, bitch. Beauty is pain, bitch. Yeah. Calm down. That was a loud snap. That kind of <laughs> hurt my thumb actually, <laughs> and my finger. That was a loud ass snap. I gotta go. Do homework. Oh. Is that why you're watching us? No, I'm taking a brain break. He's watching you. What what'd you get on your sounds a little shirt? Creepy. I got I got orange on mine. Well, Dakota, listen, I I'm, I'm sad that you're leaving it next year. Yeah. 
I'll, I'll be back for the fall fall semester. Oh, but so then, you're coming back. But then I'll be gone for the spring semester, and then I'll be gone for the following fall semester. I won't be back till that, that spring semester of, what would that be? 26. Oh, 26. Wait. Oh. Yeah, a year from Yeah, 26, yeah. yeah. Ew. I'll be, I'll be graduated. Yep. I'll hopefully not be dead. Ew. So. Oh. I'll hopefully be alive. Wow. <laughs> that just got dark. But yeah, next next fall semester. You never know when you're gonna go. Uh, next fall semester is my last semester to hang out with y'all guys until I like, get shipped off. Well, you're gonna turn summer. into a Navy SEAL, and then we're gonna say we knew you, so it's gonna be different. And people will watch this pod and be like, "That's the legendary SEAL Simpson." SEAL. People are gonna watch this pod and be like, "Trent's a fucking dumbass because he's in the army. He can't be a Navy SEAL." <laughs> Unless he, oh, a Navy. unless he re-enlisted into the Navy, then he could be a SEAL. What about, going so we do have something that's kind of like the Navy SEALs. <coughs> um, and the Navy SEALs uh, are like the Navy SEALs. Um, what about called, Marines? Like Army Rangers, huh? You could be that, right? What? The uh, tough guy. The Marine. Yeah. The Marines are its own branch. I don't... Yeah, yeah they're their own branch. Army, Navy... Coast, or, uh, <laughs> Coast Guard. Uh, well, the Coast Guard, uh, Coast Guard kind of goes in with the those army. Fuck those pussies. <laughs> what about the... They, they consider themselves their own thing. Isn't there a space thing now? Space SpaceX, defense? yeah. No, space not Space X. Space Force. Oh, I meant Space Force. I'm tripping. They made a joke TV show about it, and then it became a real thing. Yeah. Space Force. No, no, yeah. You like, should go do that. I don't think so. I have Bring to be back some it. interstellar they're like the Air Force. They're, pretty, they're pretty strict about, like... Dude, it'd be so cool to fly a fucking Air Force jet. Like, that'd be so hard. Yeah. They wouldn't allow me to do it. Have you seen the I mean, training? I mean, honestly, uh-huh. you have to be pretty skinny to be in the Air Force. So, you so lose the weight! Like, you most likely... That's a lot of weight. Like, I'd probably have to be down, like, 160. And, you could be a jockey. What do you come back? <laughs> I'll look like it. Like honestly, you have to be pretty skinny. You have to be pretty like athletic as far as when you're running and stuff like that too. Hey, don't be skinny phobic on my fucking podcast. Hey, I'm not being skinny phobic. I'm just saying that's I don't where I draw be the that line. Skinny. That's where I draw the line. I'm cool with being like 170, 165. Yeah, I don't like being this skinny. No, fuck. I don't like being this big. I like being. I want to be. I want to be lean, but with some muscle. Save some bitches for the rest of us. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I love you. I love you too. Carson, thanks for joining in. Yeah. Being okay. loud, eating pizza. Sorry, I was a little hungry before we got to the gym. Um, do you have your Instagram or anything you want to promote? What's up? No, it's fine. Dude, I don't, I don't, don't do have, that I shit. Not, I have nothing to promote. Don't do that shit. I haven't posted on my Instagram for two years. What about Snapchat? You want people to have your Snap? No. Just I've seen how many people you Snap. All right. Is there a special lady out there that you want to give a shout out to? Any drama you want to squash? What? Anything. I got some. You have some? Oh, now you care? Now you some. I was looking at you. You asked me to get my Snapchat. No, I don't have any drama. I stay out of that shit. But you're in that shit. So tell me about it. I try to stay out of it. Did you expect to be in this much drama coming to this campus? No. Fuck no. No. There, I, so, for this past, like, two weeks, I've probably gotten in so much drama. You can move it towards you. Like, grab yeah, it and I pull just, it like this. This one just yeah. like. There's just so, there's like. Yeah, I didn't take. Ooh, I don't want to, like, get into details. No, but th- like, maybe not details, there's but like let them group, know. There's, like, a large group of girls. Um, and then there's also, like. Are we in six, seven, eight range? What do we have? Uh, it's an entire Seven, eight, group at the oh. school. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow, that was wild. Pennies on the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. I mean, I mean, like number of people. It's just about that comedic time. Like, it was like, like it's like, like a group of people, like a group, a group for the school. Mm. Um, I would say six, seven, eight, maybe even like a double digits. <laughs> My boy sounding like Jeffrey Epstein now. <laughs> How high into the double digits are we going? Like nineteen twenty or like just No, nah, maybe not 11. that high. Maybe like the lower ones. Anyway, and then and then that's just that one group. And then there's like a room like 
No, no, no. No, you no. Know, you know. I do know that room. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Oh, God. No, I'm going to tell a story real fast. So, we were having fun. It was me, you, and like four other people. Four other people? Five people? No. I'm upstairs. Yeah, yeah. They're left of you. Four people, five people. Whatever. There was a group of us, and the we were walking by. There, there's these people partying in the room, right? Yeah. Something about bad parties here. Left, like, towards I'm just talking to the camera. It's me yeah. on the camera. It's me and you. Yeah, I, I, I'm listening. And Connor. So we're walking by. We open that, the door. The girl's I'm, like, yeah, oh, be, who's that's, here? That's, blah, blah, blah. She looks at Dakota. And she's like, ew, you're He's hanging out with Dakota? He's banned. Blah, blah, blah. All this stuff. I said, listen here, squirt. Because she was about four foot ten. I said, don't talk to my friend like that. Don't be mean for no reason, because now his self-confidence was messed up for the next 15 minutes. And that's ridiculous. People like that piss me off. I don't like that. She was mean for no reason, was, and all, all she had in her heart was hate. There was a lot of, like, she was saying, like, I asked for a snap three times, which didn't happen. I asked for it once. And how that happened was, like, I was at, I was at a party, and I basically was just like... I was like, hey, I know, I know, mo- like most school or a lot of the school, uh-huh. and I was just like, hey, uh, or she was like, hey, you don't know us, and I'm like, I have her on Snap, and she's like, okay, why don't you have me on Snap? And I was like, I, that felt like a like a an open door, like yeah, like like hey, you ask for me? my Snap, so I was like, all right, add me on Snap, and then she's like, blah blah blah, and then King said something like, oh, and then I was like, anyway, you just said, name. and I was like, hey, it's King's King's my friend, it's, it's not, he's not. Good. I don't know what's happening. Um, <laughs> and and so I looked back to her, and I was like, anyway. Uh, no. So are you going to have me on that? But she was like, yeah, sure. And I like, I think I looked up her name or whatever. And I was like, oh, you didn't know me yet. Added. And then she looked up my profile, and she was like, oh, I see why. Because you look like a thug. I'm like, I look like a thug? <laughs> you should have been like, gang, 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 gang. Or <laughs> that da. Go back to your police set. Four-year-old. Sorry. You know, I've been real mean to people, but you know what? They were mean to you, and it hurts my feelings. For her to open the door... And just start yelling. It was just gross. She did it in the... uh, Before we were leaving uh, in the, like, parking lot, too. You know what we should do? Nothing. Because we don't hate... We don't don't give out hate. Exactly. Exactly. Just keep on moving on at your own pace. Keep on grinding. Keep doing those lunges. Okay. Those lunges gonna, were, we're killing gonna, me we're gonna yesterday. Yeah, we're going to have dumpies this summer. Dumpies. Dakota, Dumpy, Simpson. Arthur. DDS. <laughs> DDS. All right, any last things? What you got? I don't really got nothing else. Well, I am proud of you. Um, you I know we just met, but you've been actually hitting that iron hard, and you haven't been complaining too much, and you've been eating better. Hell yeah. And you're probably feeling better now. Better. You even said, what would you say about your jeans? Like they're uh, I had these sweatpants and they were like really loose. Like they were like there was like this much space, you know. Yeah, yeah. There we go. That's nothing but hard work, baby. You're working harder than Noah, so you know you're out working. He is. Mm. Noah, that's a call out. You see, Mm. he's not here. Yeah, because he's laid up. Mm. He ate bad food, hanging out with bad women. He's actually going to play pickleball. He's actually going to play pickleball, and I'm a hater. Jk. Go to the gym first. True. Well, All right, thank you everyone. Make sure to like, subscribe, and do y'all thing. This Parsons is episode 20. Out. We're out of here. 20. Give me something. Peace. Okay. Adios, mama.